Have you ever wondered why your doctor might want to run tests to see how your triglyceride levels are doing? Are they really important and do they really matter? Well, triglycerides are an important measure for heart health, which is only the first cause of death worldwide, by the way. If they are above normal levels, you might also be suffering from health conditions like diabetes, obesity, heart problems, and even kidney failure. This means that they are, in fact, very, very important. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal how you can lower your triglyceride levels naturally and prevent or reverse many terrible health conditions. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch new video. If you need a line of important quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. Triglycerides are a very important measure for heart health, for example. This is why your doctor will always want to measure them when you're going through a lab test. They are the most common type of fat metabolized by the human body and can either be consumed or made by the liver. Triglycerides normally circulate in your bloodstream and they do so because they supply energy to almost every single cell you have. If they're not used up, they're usually stored as fat for future use which sometimes never happens. If this becomes a problem, you might start to see other health conditions, including, for example, heart disease, obesity, diabetes, and even renal failure. So you have to be careful and you have to know how to control them. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal how you can lower your triglyceride levels naturally and prevent or reverse many terrible health conditions. Number one, stop eating extra sugar. Listen to what I'm about to say because this will blow your mind. The American Heart Association recommends consuming no more than 7 teaspoons of added sugar per day. Now there's a problem because on average people are consuming close to 19 per day, which is almost 3 times as much the daily excessive recommended dose. Now, just so you know, the extra sugar you're consuming in your diet is turned in the human body into triglycerides. This leads to obviously an increase in blood triglyceride levels, which later increases your chances of suffering from heart disease, fatty liver disease, diabetes, and many, many other health conditions. As a matter of fact, if you're looking to reduce triglyceride levels, limiting your sugar intake is probably one of the most important things you should be doing. So lower packaged goods, packaged foods, foods that have extra sugar in them. Try to consume at the most five teaspoons of sugar that you can calculate in your entire day on your diet. Very, very important. If you need something effective that can help you reduce your triglyceride levels and at the same time improve metabolic rate and thyroid function, look for metathyroid and metaglucose from Finland at drlandivar.com. Number two, eat more fiber. Fiber is a substance that the human body cannot digest. It's found in plant-based foods, for example, fruits, vegetables, grains, and legumes. And just so you know, fiber is found on most or in most healthy foods or real foods that you can consume. Now, fiber can come in soluble and insoluble form, both very important, by the way. Soluble fiber specifically dissolves in water and helps lower cholesterol, triglycerides, and improves even sugar control. Now the good news is that including more fiber in your diet can decrease the absorption of sugar, fat, and obviously triglycerides. Very important. This obviously helps lower the amount of triglycerides being absorbed by your blood or in your bloodstream. And even one study, researchers showed that supplementing with rice bran fiber decreases blood triglycerides by 7-8% to just with diet. So very, very crucial if you need it. If you need something effective that can help you improve fiber content in your diet and at the same time improve digestion or constipation, look for Laxi Prune and Deep Berry from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number three, garlic. Garlic has tens of health benefits in natural medicine and reducing triglycerides is one of them. Research has shown that garlic or consuming garlic can lower these levels according to 39 different scientific studies. Not one, not two, but 39. The only thing you need to do is consume it regularly. 
in every food every day. You can find it maybe in the supermarket. You can find it in a supplement form. Do it however you want. The, the thing is that you consume it. If you need something effective that can help you reduce triglyceride levels and cholesterol, bringing them into a stable, very normal level, look for HeartXL and OnCardio from Filene at DrLandivar.com. Number four, cinnamon tea. Cinnamon is also known for having many health benefits and helping reduce sugar control, accelerating metabolism, and on top of that, improving triglyceride levels. You see, cinnamon has the power to improve insulin sensitivity because it decreases insulin resistance at a cellular level. This means that the body increases its capability of using sugar, of burning triglycerides as a source of energy. If this happens, then obviously triglyceride levels decrease up to 29% in, according to several studies. The only thing you need to do is try to drink it, maybe prepared as tea or even as a powdered form. No more than five grams per day. Very important, that detail. If you need something effective that improves your metabolic rate and contains cinnamon at the same time with other ingredients that improve, obviously, burning sugar and triglycerides, look for Metaglucose from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number five, you need exercise. One of the most important things doctors will always tell you if you have problems with triglycerides is that you need exercise. Believe it or not, the main risk factor today with patients that have triglyceride levels problems is actually their physical activity. They do not go through exercise, they don't have physical activity, and they don't have no way the body can actually burn more than they, what they really need every single day. So get some exercise in your body. Start going through, I don't know, aerobic exercise, go to the gym, uh, lift some weights, do whatever you can so that the body can burn more than what it really needs to every day. That's very important, a detail that you must not avoid or ignore. And help out the channel by giving you a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or align at a point, this is not come and check out these other videos related to stopping my health condition that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.